What's good, YouTube? This is your boy First Pressure Jones. Back with you with another pickup from Play-Doh's Closet. And if y'all don't know what a Play-Doh's Closet is, I'm going to show y'all the bag right quick. The logo. That's Play-Doh's Closet right there. Um, but anywho, um, I grabbed up another awesome shoe from um, Play-Doh's Closet. The price that I paid for it um, was $26.40. The original price was $30 right there, as you can see, plus 20% discount. Um, I had a little discount thing. That came out to be $26.40. And this is what I paid under $30 for. So I got these, like, <laughs> for retail, they like $160. So what, $130 off, basically. But they're used, uh, gently used shoe, in, in my sense. As you can see there's no creasing on the midsole. Shoe is in great condition. There's only one problem with this shoe and that's the scuff right here on the inner of the right shoe. As you can see there's a little scuff but you know I can fix that. That's nothing compared to the whole body of the shoe. Have a little bit of creasing right there but there's nothing wrong with that to me. Um, very dope shoe. This is one of the shoes that you know I decided to wait on out of the Kilroy pack because I knew it would only be a matter of time before they would end up at a Play-Doh's closet and um, I test the waters and you know luckily I was there today and I end up picking them up today um, this is one of the shoes that I like the most out, out of the Alter Ego pack it would probably be in the top three or top four um, my next ones I have to get would probably be the Slim Jenkins and the um, Fonte Montana's then I'll be through with, with that collection. But other than that, I got the Kilroy's here in hand. Um, the new boat is in great condition. Uh, you know, I can just put a little bit of suede, a new boat clean on the upper. That'll take care of that. Um, insides of the shoe is in great condition. I have the original laces and all the laces are in contact. You know how sometimes this part right here ends up being torn or something like that. But they're in good condition. Um, Thirty dollars is what the original price was. Like I said, the bottoms are still dirty. I just cleaned the upper and the midsole. And yeah, this shoe looks really good, man. After seeing them on a couple of feet, a couple of um, classmates' feet, you know, that made me want them even more. But I'm glad that I waited. I waited on these shoes and I got them for a great price. Got the 44 on the back, 4 and 4. Got you, you know, original Nines logo. You got Kilroy Kicks Butt. Shoes are 100% authentic. Kilroy Kicks Butt right there. The only thing that's missing is the insole. I don't know why they took the insole out, but that's the only thing that's missing. It's the insole. But other than that, shoe 100% real. Sometimes play those do like the people that work that don't know nothing about shoes or nothing like that um, Some fakes will come through there. That's why I'm always saying these are 100% authentic You know, I know my real and fake shoes and this is a real shoe $30 for this shoe can't beat that but Yeah, you too. This your boy fresh Press Jones just showing y'all what I've caught lately from play those closet and this was one of the shoes um, hopefully I end up getting another pair of Jordans in my size out of there. But until then, it's your boy Fresh Fish Jordan signing out. I appreciate all my new subscribers and everybody that come in and like my videos. I really appreciate that. And y'all stay tuned. There'll be more videos to come on my channel. Peace.